barefooted, and up he would go, 5,000 feet into the Cloud Kingdom to offer prayers and thanks to the gods of Hawaii. He gazed back out over the plains of Wailua, the most expansive view on the island behind this This really is the perfect combination of weather for us today. Sunshine and rain, rainbows and waterfalls. Well, I'm going to take you from the most expansive view on the island and put you in the most constricted spot on the island. Just around the corner from us, there's a rift on the eastern face of Waiali Ali like a magic door and it will let us enter the volcano. Behold the mountain of rippling waters. This is the birthplace of the seven major rivers of Kauai. One of the seven is underneath us now, Wailua Nui Ahoano, the great and sacred Wailua is what they called it back in the old days. You know what? Here I don't really think you need me to explain why this is sacred ground. Not when you see that you're literally surrounded by waterfalls. It's the most precious natural resource for human survival. A constant supply of pure, clean, clear, fresh drinking water. the end of the road there, so we're going to follow the sacred Wailua. The river will show us the way back out from the misty depths of the volcano. Lead us back into the wide open places, the plains of Wailua, now back in the sun. of the sacred volcano. Now we've got a friendly forest up ahead that'll welcome us back to the windward side. And uh, this forest was featured prominently in the first Jurassic Park back in 1992. About 10 years later, 2001, same forest showed up in a Kevin Costner movie called Dragonfly. Although if you remember that one, uh, then you know that this was supposed to be a Venezuelan jungle. 
We were also South America and Raiders of the Lost Ark, so Hollywood takes a little artistic license with our diverse landscape. From paradise. Nothing wrong with that, though. This means they love this little island. So many things I hope you feel the same way about Kauai. Why and, I? and here's the thing, I mean, to be perfectly fair to Hollywood, there is a Venezuelan tree underneath you right now. The Albizia. Very broad limbs and tiny leaves. Lots of those tiny leaves, though. Makes me feel like we're flying over a big green jigsaw puzzle. Locked in secret dreams. Now we're freed and drifting on. Memories of you hover. When you see the canopy crossing your path to the right, that's because the Wailua River is crossing your path to the right. Can you see me? At this location, it's not really easy to see the Wailua River. But on the other hand, it's not too difficult to guess where the river runs by following the thickest part of the jungle. But in any case, the wild and untamed look of the jungle will take on a much more cultivated and manicured look with the sugar plantation. This is the side of the island where sugar cane grows from the mountains to the sea.